Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. God bless you. Hallelujah. Please still let us continue to be in the mood of prayer. Thank you, Minister Kaylee. God bless you. Continue that mode of prayer, Thank that mode of prayer. Jesus. Hallelujah. Yeah. Just continue to bless him. Glory be to God. Take a minute more. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Rada la carbonoso to predi carbonu. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Mara, Liri Gede. Give him praise. 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 Give him praise, 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 give him the praise, worship him, give him praise, 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 give him Rigede <laughs> Worship him wherever you are. Worship him wherever you are. Worship him wherever you are. Jesus is here with us. 
spread your tentacle over the week. The month, hallelujah. Siri gede barozo, liri gede barozo, to paro zele gede baro, lere gede ba, more gede barozo, ede leger barozo, rade leger barozo, brende leger de barozo, li karbarozo, marade leger barozo, ede barozo, inde li karbarozo, te more gede de barosa mere de lende ke de baroso to parosa ore de le garbarosa ore de le ke de carbarosa to parosa lendo e li barosi la brodi carbarosa ore de lendo brodi carbarosa mara de le garbarosa mara de le garbarosa to le garbarosa diri gada le de barose lendo de carbadoza muri de le carbadoza to parozo iri ge de carbadoza iri de carbadoza mara de le carbadoza bri de le ge de carbadoza mara de le de carbadoza muri de le ge de carbadoza iri de le carbadoza le de carbadoza de la carbado ama Desaligado, Ori de Legge de Carbado, De Baro Soto Predi Carbado, Ori de Le Carbado Soto Predi Carbado, Liri Carbado, Prende Le Carbado Soto Predi Carbado, De Licado Baro, De Li Carbado, Ori de Le Carbado, Carbado, Inde Li Carbado, Prende Carbado, De Carbado. and <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> we worship you, Lord We worship you, Lord We worship you, Lord Sandy, 
in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Ah, glory, 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 glory. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank God for the presence of the Lord Jesus with you, right there with me, right here, with you over there. Hallelujah. Advantage of the presence. Hallelujah. I just say, Jesus, I love you. That's all you got to say. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Now, I wanted to still be in the attitude of worship. Hallelujah. I believe God is already Jesus. leading us. Thank Amen. To be in the attitude of worship, want to welcome everybody once more. We want to bless the woman of God who just opened us up to this dimension. Minister Kaylee, God bless you. Thank you. Hallelujah. 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 Praise Jesus. And Sister Abby, God bless you. If you hear my voice, she's traveling Amen. to Nigeria. She's calling all the way from Nigeria. Amen. And she spent her seed two days ago. So, and we couldn't reach you. And I want to use this opportunity to appreciate those who send their seed. Because mm. your seed is an offering oh, on the sacrifice. It's an offering on the altar. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, Lord. Can, can you help Hallelujah. us? Hallelujah. Genesis chapter 22, verse 7. I'm going to read two scriptures and let us worship again just for two, three minutes and take another three prayer points before we close. Hallelujah. Well, we only have one hour. And I've always believed that when Jesus told them, can't you wait with me for one hour? It means that the minimum time the Lord needs to move so the maximum, I think the maximum, I would say, but God needs to move. That means if God delays so long, too long, then it would take an hour for him to do anything. Mm. Now, that's why I believe Jesus said, can't you wait for one hour? An hour is like the, the farthest that God expects you to wait before anything is done. So if you could just press for one hour nonstop, that means, that is, if God didn't do it in the first five minutes, first 10 minutes, first 30 minutes, definitely, if you continue for an hour full, he will do it. That's what I believe that Jesus was trying to communicate to them. So some of you don't think God needs one year or God needs two years to do a miracle. He just need now. And if now is too long, 
then that now will be an hour. That's what I'm trying to say. But some of us can't seem to focus for an hour to worship until we're distracted. Somebody said, I'm not going to be distracted this morning. I'm, I'm focused. I'm, I'm ready for the move of God. Hallelujah. Confess Hallelujah. that right now. I am ready. I am ready. I'm ready to move Hallelujah. Move I'm not in your family, Hallelujah. in your nation. Hallelujah. In, in your Hallelujah. ministry. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In your body. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In your finances. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In general, yes. you are ready. Hallelujah. For the move of God. More ready. God. Somebody follow me. Praise God. Praise God. I want you to also understand that the things that are free, that God declared to be free, are the most powerful things. Free will offering are more powerful than tight. Free will offering are more powerful than seed. Free will. Free will offering. <laughs> If I were to bring a book here and say, this book is free, but if you feel like giving anything towards it, please do. When you hear God say a thing like that, God is testing you. Because only those who truly care will give something. You believe that? Yeah. Yeah, (laughs) Only those those who truly understand the mystery of giving will give something. Yeah. I'm telling you. People love free stuff, and that's what the company used to draw us. But the truth is that nothing is free in life. Mm -hmm. Only people who are not educated enough in the things of God think that anything is free in life. Even trouble is not free. Mm -hmm. Trouble. You know, people buy trouble. The trouble people are having, they they, they bought it. Mm -hmm. Our trouble is not free. Mm -hmm. Nothing is free in life. Nothing is free. Mm-hmm. But so, so when God want to test you, He's going to say, "Oh, just give me offering when you like. If you like, mm-hmm. give me, give me whatever you feel like giving me. Mm-hmm. Bless me if you want to bless me. But then God is waiting to see those who will lavish on Him. Yes, Lord. But the times God will say, "I need a dollar. I need two dollars." But that time, you're not really being tested that much. You are being commanded. <laughs> God commanded. But when he's commanding you, you might want to test how swift, how quick, how ready you'll be. Whether cheerfully or fast mm-hmm. or quick. But many times when he says he's free, then you want to see how much you want to give him. Not how fast now, but how much you want to give him. A lot of people are spreading videos about giving. They are attacking giving. But please, don't fall for those videos because they are not of God. Praise God. Genesis chapter 22, verse 7. Then Isaac spoke up. Father, he answered, Yes, my son. Isaac asked, I see that you have the coals and the wood, but where is the lamb of the sacrifice? You see what that that boy was 14 years old at that time when he spoke those words. His father was about to sacrifice him. But he's been following his father for so long to do sacrifices that he knew something was missing, but he didn't know he was the substitute for that thing that was missing. So he was looking at the the thing they were going with. You know, some of us, I'm, I'm appreciating those who are giving not only to this altar, but every altar where you worship, give to that altar. You must sacrifice on that altar. Weekly, daily, I mean, however frequently you need to do that so that your altar is not empty. God is not asking for a million. He's not asking you for one dollar. He's asking for what you feel is due to him of all he has blessed you with. Hallelujah. And God is not going to chase you around to give him anything. Because he said, the Bible says he loves people who give cheerfully from their hearts. And that's why I'm appreciating our sister and those who give. Just You know, we don't take off from this pulpit. We don't ask. We just say, if you choose, fine, give. When you want to give, give. And I appreciate everybody that we don't have to push to give. 
For any pastor that don't teach you about giving is ignorant in the word of God. That pastor doesn't even know God. Trust me, you need to fire him. Mm. Somebody follow me. I, I'm telling mm. you. Mm. Because one of these, one of the, 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 the mandates every pastor have is to teach giving. Mm. Not to not to force people to give, not to blame people to give, not to manipulate anybody to give, but to mm. teach the mystery of giving. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, Benny was in India. And 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 he was in India and he has finished preaching and he was trying to raise an offering. And the pastor said, Oh, sir, no, don't raise offering. But he said, I came in here, it cost you hundreds of thousands to bring me here. I need to raise offering to help. The man said, No. He said, because my church has been taught, mm. given so much, they don't need no pastor to tell them to give. Mm, he said, You see that school over there? My church built it. So this old church, our church built it. He pointed to the to, to the whole of India and they could see the traces of their members. I see every one of my members are almost multi-millionaires Amen. because they understand the mysteries of giving. Amen. Any pastor that don't teach mystery will raise a broke congregation. Mm. And they are this way we are broke people, so we also have broke churches. Mm, the church mm. itself is broke. And I don't see how you can be blessed mm. by a broke church. Mm. How can a broke church make you rich? Mm. The Bible says, bring to my house. Let my house be filled. Let the storehouse of my house be filled. But there are churches who are struggling to pay their bills. Mm. Who are struggling to... The pastor is working two jobs. That's a broke place. And the members, oh, oh, redeemed that church by obeying the word of God. The boy knew better than some of us knows. He said, I can't go to sacrifice, to worship God without sacrifice. So he asked his father, where is the sacrifice? We don't just go dance and clap and do these things. We always offer something. Amen. Ask yourself from the beginning of this year, how much have you offered to God? What have you offered to him? And how frequently and how often have you offered to him? Mm. So those who give without them being forced, being mm. even pushed, you know, God loves that because it's coming from their heart. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Somebody say, that is me. Hallelujah. That Somebody say, I'm a cheerful giver. Hallelujah. Say, I'm a cheerful giver. Hallelujah. I'm a cheerful giver. Hallelujah. I'm a cheerful giver. <laughs> if you have not been given, don't feel bad. Just start today. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> oh, glory be to God. I want to give you one reason why you need to give to God. First Peter chapter 1 verse 4. And then we're going to sing one song. Hallelujah. One reason why you need to worship God. Hallelujah. Some people say, why should I give him? I don't see why. <laughs> why should I give it? Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Wherein ye rejoice greatly. First Peter chapter 1 from verse 6 to verse 7. Wherein ye rejoice greatly, though now for a season. Uh, am I reading the right scripture now for goodness sake? Father, <laughs> help right here. <laughs> uh, redeem us by incorruptible. I wanted to show you how he redeem us by his blood. And, and that's what I'm looking for. Let me find is it first Peter now, Father? Where is it? Oh, okay. I think it's 18, 18, 18. Thank you so much, Holy Ghost. It's 18. Holy Ghost just whispered that to me. You won't believe it, just like in my ears. Verse 18. For as much, first Peter chapter 1, verse 18. For as much as ye know that ye were redeemed with you were not redeemed with corruptible things. Somebody said, that's me. I was not redeemed with corruptible things. Hallelujah. Make those confessions. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I want to hear your voice. Are you angry with me that I'm talking about giving? No. no. Hallelujah. 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 Listen to me. Listen to me. We are blessed always. We are always blessed. Trust me. If Amen. God use you as a channel to support this ministry or any ministry, it's because God chose to bless you. 
Hallelujah. If God decides not to use you to support this ministry or another ministry of His, is because He had decided that the blessing is not going to happen. Mm. I was telling a lady, Sister Ming, she's here right now, and I was telling about sources, sources. Did you have to understand what is a source and what is a channel? Who knows the difference between source and channel? Source and channel. Nobody is your source. God is your source. But God uses many channels. Mm. See the difference? Mm. See, you, on your TV, you have so many channels, right? But mm. only one source. It could be Comcast, mm. it could be mm. DSL or whatever. That's what they call your service provider, which means God is your service provider. And though he will give you so many channels, but only him is your service provider. Service provider is what we call source. This is in our devotional for 2025. You see it's source and channels. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Ah, Follow mm. me. Mm. Now listen to me. Some, t- some of you, you're looking too much to- towards your channels. Your channel don't know nothing about you. They could care less about you. Focus on your service provider so that when your so channel honest. is missing, mm. or a channel is missing, or a channel is not enough, mm. you go to the service provider. Mm. Let me give you a scriptural example real quick so you can understand that when God wants to bless you, make you a channel. Hallelujah. Follow me. Hallelujah. The Bible says Elijah was being uh, fed by birds, ravens. How many people remember Elijah was fed by ravens for a particular, for a period of time. Hmm. God commanded the ravens to serve him morning, night, evening. They were bringing food for him. Birds in heaven. Can you imagine that? Because he was in the wilderness. He was in the bush. Then the Bible says, God said, now this raven, I'm no longer going to use the raven now. I'm going to use a widow now. And the Bible said, God told Elijah, I have commanded the widow to bless you. Now the ravens has to stop. Imagine if Elijah was depending on the ravens forever. And didn't want to leave the ravens alone because he so much enjoyed it. But no, see, God is the provider of the channels. So one, he was providing the raven as a channel to bless Elijah. Then he changed. And start using the woman, the widow, to bless Elijah. So he's the service provider. He's using different channels to bless this man of God. The same thing with you. God can open two channels for you. He can open three channels Mm. for you. He can open ten channels for you. Mm. He can also open your channel, one channel so big enough that it's more than enough. Mm. So that one channel was feeding Elijah. Only God knows for maybe five months, 10 months, a year. Nobody knows how long. And then God said, now this channel, I'm closing this channel. I'm opening another channel. And guess who? It's a widow in Zarephite. It's going to be feeding you. That's why we people, we men of God, we don't care. Because if God don't use this person, God will use this person. If God will use this source, this channel, God with that channel. My mm-hmm. source is in God. My hope is in Hallelujah. God. I all always to be Hallelujah. in God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. And though Amen. one channel may close or one channel may refuse to bless me, but guess what? God will never close. God will just open another channel up. Hallelujah. Is, is, is somebody following me? Somebody say, I'm going to be a channel of blessing. Hallelujah. I'm, I'm going to be a channel, be a channel of blessing. blessing. Now listen to me. The, the moment the woman opened, obeyed God and became a channel, what happened to her? She became rich. The Bible says she never lacked any, anything anymore. Mm-hmm. Why? So when God called Elijah to that woman, it's because God determined to bless the woman. Amen. You see that? God determined to bless the woman. So he made the woman a channel. And that is why I told the woman, bless the man of God. And God didn't tell the woman that he was going to be blessed. She was going to be blessed. Remember, when Elijah got to the woman, Elijah said, but this thing you're asking me, I know God told me to bless you because the Bible said God has commanded the woman, which means the woman heard the voice of God. But when he came to obey God, she was afraid and she almost refused. But Elijah said, no, give me that thing you have. But I see she obeyed. What happened? There was a multiplication. This is not, this is not trying to 
manipulate people. We are saying if God is using you as a channel, then expect God to bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Stand by that Hallelujah. faith. Stand by that faith. Nobody's yes, going to force Lord. you. Any man of God should never force you and say, hey, God told you to give me $10,000. Nobody else is going to tell you that. But if you feel the Holy Ghost is prompting you, then also stand yes, by Lord. that by faith in that Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. Somebody follow me. Hallelujah. Glory be to Hallelujah. God. Glory be to God. Take Hallelujah. a minute and just pray for open channels. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That God will multiply your channels. They call it multiple streams of income. Hallelujah. Multiple Hallelujah. channels of blessing in your life. Yes, Glory be to God. Open your mouth and just pray. Hallelujah. Moda. Cause there to be channels. I bless everybody who is giving, who is sending their gift in the name of Jesus, I begin to pray for you, for channels to be open for you, for channels of blessing to be open for you, for blessing to be open for you. Monday, let the Badoja, the one sending their gift to the Lord, my blessing in the name of the Father, the name of the Son, the name of the Holy Ghost. Let channel be open for you, let God be open for you. Let your fire never go down, let your flower Hours never go down. Channels never be closed in the name of Jesus. Mada, let the Badonza. Muri de Legada Badonza. Eko de Barusa. Muri de Rada Barusa. That's the channel to open. The deep, deep, the deep channels. Muri de Barusa. Open wide the channels. Mada Barusa. Legada bless every offering bless every gift we are accepting in the name of the father the name of the son the name of the holy ghost we open opportunities for you we open doors of opportunities for you we open doors of favor for you we open doors of mercy for you we open doors we command you to be blessed blessing the morning blessing the afternoon Bless in the noon. Bless all day. Ribaru Zali Karabaru. Monday Baru Zali Karabaru. Rada Baru Zali Karabaru. Rada Baru Zali Karabaru. Zali Karabaru. Rada Baru Zali Karabaru. Rada Baru Open the deep, open the deep, open the deep, open the deep, open the deep. Mopato Sali Karadusa, Ragada, Maro Sali Karadusa, Breaker Matusa. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. In the Old Testament, the Bible says when you give tithes and offerings, the Bible says the windows of heaven will be opened. And the Bible said the devourer will be rebuked for your sake. Remember, don't forget those words. In the Old Testament, Old Testament, not new. I want to tell you what happens in the new. Let me tell you the old first. The Old Testament, if they give tithes, the Bible says the heavens were opened over those who did. And then the Lord rebuke the devil that was devouring their blessing. Mm. You know, some people have the problem of bringing in money. Some people don't have that problem. They bring in money all right. But there are problems that they can't keep it. They lose it. They, they, it, it, goes, it goes some mysterious way. The money disappears from them. Mm. Doctor is taking his own. Mm. Lawyers mm. are taking theirs. Mm. Police tickets, some mm. damages in car and repairs, others mm. stealing, all mm. kinds of things. So though they brought in fifty thousand, but they barely spent ten thousand for themselves. The rest have mm. gone through mm. mysterious ways. Mm. Mm. <laughs> that would never be your portion, Jesus. Mm. So I, I'm trying. To, so God is saying. I will open to pour down. That's number one. 
Then number two, this thing, they try to steal it from you. I will rebuke it. That's what the Bible says. Mm -hmm. So see, if you give time, I'm going to do two things. First, I'm going to open the windows of heaven. Mm -hmm. Then number two, now you have a lot of money, but there's things that are trying to steal your money. And I'm going to re go after those things that are trying to take your money and steal from you. Mm -hmm. That's in the Old Testament. But the New Testament is a little different. Mm -hmm. When you give tithes and offering, or you bless God with free will offering, whatever it is, you know, it doesn't have to be tithe. It doesn't have to be anything. So you're not mandated in the New Testament to give tithe. Tithe mm. becomes principle in the New Testament. It's a principle. Mm. You, you choose to follow that principle. So it's a choice. But if you do, mm. heaven no longer gets open. What happens is that you are transported to the heavens. Amen. See, in the Old Testament, the heavens are open for you. But in the New Testament, you are taken to the heavens and seated in the heavens. Mm. The reason the heavens were open for them was because they did. Jesus had not ascended yet. So they didn't have the privileges of going to heaven. If you notice, Adam didn't have the privilege of going to heaven. So the Bible said God came down to him every evening, every morning, sorry, cool, in the mo cool mm -hmm. of the morning. God came down to him because Adam didn't have the nature that can ascend into heaven. But we have the nature that can ascend to heaven. We are seated with Christ in heavenly places. Amen. Hallelujah. The privileges Adam didn't have, Abraham didn't have, Moses didn't have, but we have it in Christ because we can now be where Christ is. But they couldn't be where Christ is. So heaven could only be opened over them when they obey God. So the more you worship God with your titan offering, you are sent into the realms of glory. Somebody following me. Ah, my God, listen to me. The Bible says in the Old Testament, he said that he will rebuke the devourer for their sake. You know why? He didn't have power to rebuke the devourer. Yes. But in the New Testament, what does God don't rebuke the devourer? He gives you power over the devourer. He raised you higher than the devourer. He lifts you up far above principalities and power. No, no, no. Moses was not above principalities and power. He was above Pharaoh, yes. But he was not above principalities and power. Abraham was not above principalities and power. But God has to rebuke the devourer for their sake. But in our own case, God said, I'm giving you power over snakes and scorpions, over all powers of the enemy, and far above witches and wizards and sorcerers and anything that mm. want to devour you, they can't even come close to you as you Hallelujah. worship him. That's what happened for you. Hallelujah. Amen. Somebody follow me. Amen. So give him the praise. Hallelujah. Give him the Amen. praise and begin to commit to worship. Give him something this morning. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. And ascend the realms of glory mm. for the weak. Mm. I ascend into the realm of glory. I ascend into the realm of glory. Devil can't keep you down. It's impossible. I'm telling you, he can't keep you down. You are ascending in the name of Jesus. You are ascending in the name of Jesus. Mato Paroso. Far above poverty. Far above poverty. Far above stagnation. Far above procrastination. Far above immorality. Far above pain. Far above suffering. Far above disgrace and mockery. Far above shame. You are sent into the realm of glory. Mato Rada 
I ascend for principalities. Over principalities and power. Over principalities and power. Over demonic spirit. Over satanic powers. Over witches and wizards. I subdue in the name of Jesus. I subdue in the name of Jesus. Maru zeleke de barunza. Rige de baru zelika. Ride leke de padunza. Rige de baru se de parunza. Bori ge de barunza. Pray, 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 pray. Don't be quiet. Don't be quiet. Pray from the depth of your heart. I ascend over powers this week. I ascend over principalities. I ascend over forces of darkness. As I worship, I ascend in the name of Jesus. 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 Amen. I have only three prayer points before we close. Hallelujah. So listen to me. Pray, pray, pray. Travel for one hour. Sometimes I try to limit my talking. You know, the reason we talk is because we don't feel people pray enough. We don't feel yes. that. They're praying from their heart mm. enough. Mm. Prayer can become a routine. And it's terrible if prayer is a routine. Prayer, mm. you see, we can, we, we can turn the, our world upside down. We, we can mm. turn things around in 30 minutes mm. or less. If we pray from our heart. The secret is that it, it must proceed from your heart. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, Amen. Oh, must proceed from my heart. Must proceed from my heart. Oh my God. Should can mm. I attain to heart? Heartfelt prayer. Mm. The prayer you don't feel, God don't feel it. Mm. If you don't feel it, trust me, just forget mm. it. God don't feel it too. Mm. Mm. Anything you give God that you don't feel, mm. trust me, God don't feel mm. it too. Mm. And that is why it's important that the Bible says heartfelt prayer, heartfelt, continuous from heartfelt. Amen. Elijah prayed and said, go and see this, 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 this sign of rain. Then he prayed again, go and see. Then he prayed again, go and see. That shows you that man really wanted rain. He, he knew yes. God could bring rain. He yeah. wasn't just praying some routine. I've prayed, oh, I don't know. <laughs> well, the rest is up to God. If you do it, I don't know. You know, God may do it. You know, this is how a lot of people consider prayer. Some gamble. They did like gambling with God or something like that. Are you ready to get answers for this week? Yeah. Are you ready to make this week the best week so far in 2020? Yes, Hallelujah. Amen. Are you ready for the move of the Holy yes, Ghost? Lord. Oh, yes, God, it's up to you and I. Hallelujah. 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 I'm telling you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me tell you, Satan is not stupid enough. Mm. It's not that stupid to attack you mm. if mm. your altar is yeah. too bad. Mm. I say mm. that quote out. Mm. Satan is not stupid. It's not that stupid to attack you mm. if your altar is intact. Hallelujah. Anybody that is here that has been attacked by Satan is because your altar was mm. not in, intact. That's why. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry mm. to say, and that, that goes to me, that goes to you, that goes to everybody else. Mm. We focus on building our altar. Now, Satan can tempt somebody who has an altar, but he cannot yes. attack somebody who has an altar. Yes, Lord. It's like if you have a lion guarding your house or a very powerful dog, you can't break into the house. You must first destroy the dog, take down the dog. Then now you have ashes. That's the way your altar, your altar is your protective gear. It's your, it's your, it's your protection. And it means where you pray regularly, your worship, your gift, 
your relationship with God. This is what we call your altar. Hmm. The devil knows I cannot attack this one. This one has an altar. But hmm. let me tempt her so she can stop servicing hmm. that altar. If I can tempt him and he stops servicing the altar, then I know have dismantled his altar. Now I can go into him and, and, and do whatever damage I want to do. So Satan knows so well, he cannot, dis until he dismantles our altar, he cannot attack us. That is why we worship him daily. Hallelujah. That's why we prepare our altar daily. Hallelujah. That is why we reverence him daily. Hallelujah. That is why we give him praise daily. Hallelujah. Is somebody following me? Glory be to God. I want you to just take a minute and just praise him before we take two prayer points. Hallelujah. And praise him on your altar. Praise him on your altar. Praise him. Your, give him your altar. Praise your altar. Hallelujah. Just Jesus, I worship you. I don't know what to say. Just say Jesus. Jesus. I don't know what to say. Just say hallelujah. I repair my altar this this morning, hallelujah. I prepare my altar this morning. Make commitment to worship and bless you. Hallelujah. Always make commitment to bless you. Oh, you're looking into into my heart. I made you about you. Yes. And that's all about him, declare. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's why we came in here. He moved over China, over London, over Europe, over America. Hallelujah. May he move in our week in a new way this week. May he bless your feet. Feet. May he bless your hands. May he bless your words. Hallelujah. May he bless you with a renewed body. Hallelujah. May you open the dimension of the deep for you. The deep, the deep. Hallelujah. May he multiply your channels. Hallelujah. Barat, look at the blue, Brada, look at the blue, Brada, look at the blue, Brede, look at the blue, Mada, look at the blue, Brede, look at the blue, look at the blue, Brada, look at the blue, Brada, look at the blue, Brede, look at the blue, Brede, look at the blue, Mande, look at the blue, Mada, look at the blue, Mada, look at the Oh, <laughs> 
Somebody praise him wherever you are. Praise him. Praise him. I just want you to Nothing else will do. Nothing else will do. Jesus. Nothing else will do. Oh, Jesus. I just want you, Lord. I just want you. My altar Nothing else will do. Nothing else will do. Let's go to the book of First Peter. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Peter, the scripture I wanted to read. Amen. 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 You know, you know, during the time of slavery, you know, in America right here, in different parts of the world, there were very rich, benevolent, rich folks who went to buy slaves. There was this particular slave that a rich man showed up and bought him for a very precious price. And the, the slave was a very angry slave. He's been in slavery for so long. And you know how tough it was in slavery time in America or this other Western world, you know, these other parts of the world where there was so much slavery. You know, so this guy was angry. He thought that this man was buying him from another slave master to another slave master. So when he came out of this slave master where he'd just been bought, he spat on the face of the rich guy who bought him. Because he thought that, you know what, I, I, you know, whatever you want to do, do. I'm tired because you're just transferring me from one slave to another slave. But you know what the rich man told him? Dream man said, I didn't, I didn't buy you to use you to make you a slave. I actually came to free you. He couldn't believe it. You spend all this money buying me. <laughs> a slave used to cost more than a BMW. I hope you guys know. One slave guy, especially if he's a young guy. Hmm. That was how expensive this slave trade was. Hmm. The guy said, you hmm. bought me? So yeah, you're free in America. Cool. Live your life. It's a free man. Use your slave certificate free. Mm. There you go. Mm. Anybody hold you? Present the certificate. You're, you're okay. Mm. Not will he fit, Frederick. Think about it. Do you think he will rejoice? Do you think he will complain that I don't have a BMW? Do you think he will complain I don't have a house? Do you think he will be so <laughs> happy that he's a free man? Yes, he will. <laughs> but that is you and me, brethren. Jesus bought Hallelujah. you. So read this scripture. For as much as ye know, this is this is First Peter chapter 1, verse 18. The scripture I was trying to read. For as much as ye know that ye were not redeemed with corruptible things as silver, as gold, 
from your vain conversation received by tradition from your fathers. Mm-hmm. But with the precious blood of Jesus, verse 19, mm-hmm. you were redeemed by the precious blood of Jesus. Mm-hmm. As of a lamb without blemish, without spot. Amen. Oh, somebody say, I am the redeemed. Hallelujah. That's what happened. He bought you. He bought you. Hallelujah. Amen. He bought you. Amen. If you if you bought something very, very expensive, where do you keep it? Mm-hmm. In a very mm-hmm. safe place. Say so that's where I am right now. A safe mm-hmm. place. I'm Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> Some of you think God want to easily just let the devil mess with you. Trust me, God is not trying to let them. God knows how much he spent on you. Mm-hmm. He Lion, knows how much Lion, you cost him. Lion. So if you think God is going to let sickness take you out or any kind of thing take you out, it's not going to happen because you are a precious. Hallelujah. Because you were redeemed by the precious blood. If I came to your house right now, the thing that costs you the most are always hidden. Trust me. The things you display for everybody to see, they probably cost you not much. The ones that cost you a lot, did you put in a safe deposit in the bank, mm. safe box mm. in the bank, or they are hidden under your bed, some safe, you know? Under the bed. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, glory be to God. Somebody, I want to Hallelujah. pray that you activate your protection. Hallelujah for this one. Glory be to God. Yeah. As we go to the ember more, I want you to activate Lord, your protection by the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Amen. So that you Amen. move into the dimension of glory. Yes. No yes. demon yes. will yes. hack at your body. Yes. No yes. demon yes. will yes. hack at your finances. Yes. No yes. demon yes. will hack at your system in the name of Jesus. I'm in a safe place. Activate. I activate the power of the Holy Ghost in my life. I activate my protective gear in the name of Jesus. I activate my protection system. Hallelujah. The Bible says the mountains surround Jerusalem. So the angel of the Lord encamped around you with that blessing. Thank you. Activate the protection system. A thousand shall fall by my right and ten thousand by my left, for none shall come nigh me. Mortele my buckler. Activate your protective gear. Activate your protective gear. Marosa Likarabadosa. I declare protection over death. The protection from death. Protection from sickness. Protection from disease. Protection from financial hacking. In the name of Jesus. I declare protection over my family. Over your family. Over your life. In the name of Jesus. You are kept in a safe place. In the name of Jesus. I declare you are impregnable. I declare you are impenetrable. Declare your walls cannot be broken. In the name of Jesus. Rose, the leaker of the 
from your heart declare exemption declare protection in the name of Jesus it's weak you bar every sickness and disease you bar diseases you barricade diseases you barricade sicknesses you barricade financial problems you are in a safe place in the hands of God 125 verse to Psalm 125 verse 2. Hallelujah. Psalm 125 verse 2. Let me let me give you somebody is saying give us one scripture, one scripture to just show how protected we are. So matter of fact, if you read the whole of Psalm 91, would have been a confession, but I could read it. Exactly. Thank you so much. All of Psalm 91 talks about how yes. protected you are. Mm-hmm. Yes, Lord. I'm telling yes, Lord. you how protected you are. Yes, in, that, Lord. in that Psalm, God told you even sickness can reach you, diseases, uh-uh. pestilences, mm-hmm. and all of that. Mm-hmm. That is why I say, if you're not experiencing it, activate it. Just say, I activate mm-hmm. my protective fear that God has put over me. I activate the protective mm-hmm. system mm-hmm. of the Lord Jesus. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. But, but let me give you another scripture before we pray one last prayer and, and we leave. Hallelujah. 125 verse 2. As the mountains hey, hey. are round about Jerusalem. <laughs> Watch it. You, have you seen a mountain before? Now, this is sing, this is not singular now. This is plural. As mm-hmm. the mountains mm-hmm. surround Jerusalem. Hallelujah. So mm-hmm. the Lord is surround. Sorry. So the Lord, so the Lord is, is round about, about his people. people. From mm-hmm. henceforth, even forever, even forever <laughs> more. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Have you Amen. seen that? Mm-hmm. Have you seen the way he said his people, not the whole world, not everybody, mm-hmm. not everybody, his people. Mm-hmm. Are, are you his people? Yes. Amen. Yes, Lord. Yes. Yes. Uh, are you sure? Yes. Are you sure? Amen. Yes. Somebody yes. said. Somebody is saying, "Give me one yes. more, one more scripture, Amen. one more scripture." Psalm thirty-four, <laughs> verse seven to nine. Hallelujah. Amen. Psalm 34 from 79. Watch this. And the angel of the Lord encamped round about them that fear him. Do you fear uh, God? Hey, that I see. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh, Hallelujah. Look, that def- look, the defense system is, 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 you know what? The word I love the most here is encamped. Mm-hmm. They were not just parabolated. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. The mean they are just walking around, make sure uh-uh. everything's okay. Uh-huh. But no, they are built their houses around you. They are camping there. Amen. Uh-huh. They live where <laughs> camp uh-huh. means you know when you move, they, they move their camp, they camp uh-huh. around you. Uh-huh. When you move to Georgia, they, they move their camp, they move to Georgia, they move uh-huh. to uh-huh. Texas, they move their camp, they move to Texas. Doesn't matter where you go. The angel of the Lord encumbered round about. Now mm-hmm. think about it. Angel is round about you. God is round about you. Amen. That defense system is powerful. Mm-hmm. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, glory be to God. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Mm-hmm. It's amazing. It's amazing. Mm-hmm. When God wants to teach a mystery, mm-hmm. he raises a man. You're going to pray this last prayer point. From our devotion, we say faith is now. Okay, mm. faith is now faith is not tomorrow. If you are trusting God for healing your body now or anything, no. be mm. ready in the next one minute because it's going to happen. Hallelujah! Hallelujah. I want to pray from Hallelujah. your heart. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Pray Hallelujah. from your heart. Amen. Listen to me. If God want to if God want to teach a dimension. Will, is somebody talking? He want to raise. He will raise a person to show you. That thing, mm-hmm. how important that thing is. These people are called models. Mm-hmm. Models. The model, mm-hmm. you know, if you're a tailor or a seamstress, they you you've come up with a new design. You have you need a model to model that design for you. In the case of God, He gets His own model. These models we call them prophets. Mm-hmm. 
So he raises a prophet and he says, I want to teach them about faith, but I need somebody to model faith for me. So mm. Abraham modeled, not prayer. Abraham didn't model prayer. We didn't study the prayer life of Abraham. It was like, that wasn't what God raised him up. God raised him for faith. Mm. So the Bible called him father of faith. Father of faith. Because yeah. his job was to model faith. So God said, I'm going to make mm. you barren for 100 years, as bad as it could be. Yes. And your wife, as bad as it could be, 90 years. Guess what? I want, to, I want you both to model faith for me. Mm. And boy, they did. 90 years old, woman conceived. 100 years old, woman, a man gave birth to Isaac. Amen. When God wants to model yeah. prayers, he raised Elijah. <laughs> So that we mm. know through mm. Elijah mm. that we have control over the cosmos. Mm. Man. Because the man yeah. shut down cosmos for you know for you to stop the rainfall. You have to understand if you study geography, mm. you have to mm. deal with mm. climate, you have to deal with so many things. You are just looking at the rain. There are many things that were shut down for that rain to stop. He had to shut so many things: vaporization, uh, the climatic <laughs> condition, the seasonal system. The man shut it down to make sure that rain does not fall. So basically, for you to stop rain, you have to stop the whole activity of the cosmos hmm. in that area. Oh, my God. So through him, we know the power of prayers. That we have control over the universe through prayers. So I wanted to use that power. And when he prayed, he didn't pray for 10 years for rain not to fall. The Bible said, while on his knees, he caused it to happen. That mm. rain fell after three and a half years of shutting it down. I wanted mm. to pray for your own rain to fall this week. Hallelujah. Maybe your rain is healing. Hallelujah. Let it fall. Amen. Let it come. Hours of blessings. Hallelujah. Amen. Maybe your rain is finances. Hallelujah. But you're going to cause the finance to rain down like a mighty torrent over your life in the name of Jesus. Maybe yours is opportunity or job. Hallelujah. Business opportunity. Open your mouth and pray and say, let it rain now. That the power of prayer, that the power of in the name of Jesus, Mopato Regere Baruja, Regere Baruja, Lita Papu Zeliga. Take one minute, take one minute and pray from your heart. Take one minute and pray from your heart. Pass it to rain now, 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 now. Let it rain. I command money from the east, from the west, from the south. Command money to flow. Command opportunities to flow. Man, blessings to open up. Hallelujah. My windows of opportunity. My healing to well up in my body. In the name of Jesus. I command prophecy. The word of prophecy to be fulfilled. I command dimension of the power of the Holy Ghost in my life in the name of Jesus. In your mercy, I command rain to fall. Rain of the blessing of the Holy Ghost. The rain of abundance. Abundant rain, let it fall. Hallelujah! Opportunities, let it fall in the name of Jesus. Monday, let it fall. Mada, let it fall. Let it fall. So to paros. Let it fall. So to paros. Let it fall. 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 Let it Abundant, let it rain. Abundant, let it rain. Let it rain on me. Let it rain on me. Showers of blessings. Showers of blessings. All over me. I command it. I command it. I command it. Yes. 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 Yes.
Bless everybody. Hallelujah. Thank him tonight. Thank him this morning. All he has done. God bless you, Mr. Kelly. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Glory to God. Glory to Amen. God. Glory Amen. To God. Let it rain. Let it pour. <laughs> let it rain. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Pastor Mark. Thank you, man of God. So bless much. You, Hallelujah. Bless you, bless Hallelujah. Bless you, bless you, Glory. Bless Hallelujah. Bless Amen. Bless Hallelujah. Amen. This is truly Momentum Monday. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. Thank you for that word. Thank you for the prayers. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Good morning, everyone. Mm-hmm. I, we only got two minutes, so just want to remind you to come back tomorrow. Turning Point Tuesday, understanding righteousness. Hallelujah. We are the righteousness of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then I want to remind you for Wednesday, hallelujah, we're fasting and praying just so you can prepare your hearts and minds. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. And just going to greet those we didn't get a chance to greet this morning and then we'll share the grace. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Good morning to you, Pastor Clemens. Good morning, man of God. God bless you and thank you. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. Pastor, I do grace and peace. Good morning to you. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Grace Hallelujah. And peace. Hallelujah. Grace Evangelist and peace. Dara, God bless you. Good morning. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Apostle Jedediah, good morning to you, man of God. God bless you this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. Good Hallelujah. Good morning. Good morning. Evangelist Monroe. Good morning to you, Evangelist Rosie. Good morning, everyone. Good morning to you, woman of God. Good morning. morning. Bless you. Mm -hmm. Pastor Mm -hmm. Beatrice, good morning. God bless you this morning. Hallelujah. Amen. Sister Adjuka, God bless you. (laughs) Thank you. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Hallelujah. Good morning. God bless you you too this morning. Mm -hmm. Sister Thelma. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Bless you. Minister Joyce, Minister Osa, Sister Ming, God bless you. Oh, God bless you this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us go ahead and share the grace and let us walk out in the rain this morning. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. And the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Surely, surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And will we in the presence of love and ever Amen. 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 Love you all. Have a blessed day. Have a blessed day. Have a blessed day. Grace and peace. Hey, bless you. Bless you, Evangelist and God's day. Welcome. God bless. Amen. Bless you, everybody. Hallelujah. Thank you, Pastor Mark. Thank you. Bless you. Thank you, Pastor Obi. God bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Thank you. Bless you, Mr. Kelly. God bless you. God bless you. Some do come the vibe. Dice, bless
blessing Money, testimony Go to follow, 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 follow Follow, 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 you they go This year, good news Jaye, plenty bonny Go to follow, 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 follow Follow, 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 you they go Everything I be wanting, manifesting for my life Everything you be wanting, manifesting for your life Even before you call, you don't answer prayer My papa, you too shy, you don't fit for your hand Even before you call, you don't answer prayer My papa, you too shy, you for your Blessing, money, testimony Go to follow, 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 follow Follow, 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 you they go This year, good news Jaye, plenty burning Go to follow, 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 follow Follow, 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 you they go Go to follow, 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 follow Follow, 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 you they go Everything I be wanting, manifesting for my life Everything you be wanting, manifesting for your life Even before you call, you don't answer prayer My papa, you too shy, you don't fit for your hand Even before you call, you don't answer prayer My papa, you too shy, you for your hand Blessing, money, testimony Go to follow, 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 follow Follow, 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 you they go This year, good news Jaye, plenty burning Go to follow, 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 follow Follow, 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 you they go